Okay, so today is going to cover like three or four different variations of the squat. Okay, the first one is going to be the goblet squat. Goblet squat is simply just holding a dumbbell under your chin. I'm going to that, I'm going to cover the sumo, wide stance with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, and I'll cover the back barbell squat. We'll leave the front squat for another day or a hat squat as well, okay? So, <clears throat> the first mechanism to the squat is, um, I'm sure you might have seen some pictures posted of little kids, they're always in perfect form. Their uh, heels are flat, feet are straight, knees are outside. Again, heels are straight, knees are outside when they're squatting. And they're into this position here with a flat back. Now, I don't have the flexibility to get there, but I've been working on it. But in a sense, they have their heels planted and they're straight up and down, back flat as much as possible. They don't have to come and get that reverse unless they're unloaded. So what we want to do and what I teach my clients to reach for so we involve the glutes and hamstrings more, because a lot of people end up loading the knee first and then getting into a squat, which is the reverse of what we'd like you to do. So go ahead and step back just a bit. Um, you can, you can uh, sort of more for progression people to lower and lower, getting more in hip depth by using a bench squat. Now I don't necessarily like these where you come down, you sit down, and then you go forward because you see what that gives me the inclination to do is I'm loading the knees first. So what I ask my clients to do is if you're at night, if you're going to the bathroom, you gotta reach for the toilet seat because no one stands up in the middle of the night, right? So we're gonna go boom and reach for the toilet seat. It's an exaggeration at the moment, so it's good to go not wait. So reach for the toilet seat and then back down. Now I want them to keep the structure here and tap, and we're gonna reach again. Now I'm gonna try to find that wall with my butt and then tighten it with my boots, okay? So it's gonna be a little booty pop motion. All right, hands up here. Just like that. My knees are out, my knees are out, okay? If you need to get the habit right, you put your feet together, okay? So if I were to come here, feet together, if I wanna sit back, you see what happened my knees? Automatically went out, it's impossible to go in. Okay, I'm gonna reach again. Okay, a lot of people, they wanna do this. Just like that. Just load my knees. That's completely maxing them out in the range of motion, which will probably cause a lot of knee problems. So, squatting doesn't hurt your knees, bad squatting hurts your knees, okay? So, back to the gut squat. Now, when people first get into depth, ask them to squat where it's comfortable. Everyone's got a little bit of different mechanics. Some people get right into the hole. I've trained some break dancers and even some golfers who are just bam, right into there. Okay, but I've trained a lot actually a couple of MMA fighters and whatnot that can't get there and you figure with the jiu-jitsu their hip flexibility would be there, but it's not. So definitely things to watch for. Okay, so again, scoply is first. I'm gonna reach and then just drop down like that. Okay, and then pop up, boom. Right there, so I ask them to at least try to get to 90. If they can't and they get this tuck going and that butt wink happening, then we bring out the chair and I'll set it to where right when that happens and then keep dropping it lower so they can get more comfortable with it. Okay, so back again. Now I'll squat, chest is up, my abs tight, I squeeze my butt before I get into the squat and then that helps me get in position right away. Okay, back's nice and strong. Now we just make it look a lot more fluid. Okay, squeeze the butt every time. Knees go out every time. Okay, now into a similar squat. Coming from the front, there's no different mechanism. Okay, that's all we're doing. We're squeezing out, chest is up, everything is flat. A lot of people, what they end up doing, then overextending and then sitting down. Okay, I don't want that happening. I want a flat, flat line and then sit down. Okay, now. much different from what we've been doing. Now the weight's just on your back. Most people end up freaking out a little bit because the weight's in their back. I feel more control here. I feel a lot more control here. I don't have anything pinning me down. So I understand the fear. So getting under this, what I want to do is I want to get in and get in a position right away. So I'm going to get under, my glutes on, active tight. 
You're not going to be overextended. You're not going to be under. You sit right here, flex, come out. Now, I'm not going to look to do this. Boom, you've automatically faulted, all right? So that just sacrificed final position. So again, under here, come under, set position, flex, come out. I don't need to walk, I got a mirror in front of me, all right? Setting my position, I'm going to again break at the hips, kick those back, bam, you see that motion? All right. Here, drop into the squat, and back up. Again, squeeze in the butt every single time. Now what I'm trying to do is spread the floor with my feet the whole time. So nice and slow, kicking down that position, and back up. So my thighs get parallel. I didn't need to go any lower than that. If you feel you can go lower than that, and your hip structure lets you get there, as well as your dorsiflexion, which is being able to pull this up. A lot of plants that I have, when we get into this position here, they can't pull their toes up and up in the center. Their tibialis to pull them into that position, so then they end up doing this and falling back. Okay, so if you keep hitting a wall and falling back, then it means you need to work on this business. Okay, that means getting under here, wedging your foot under there, stretching that out, doing tibialis raises, and getting in there with a thrust ball until that gets better. Same thing, work on the back, don't forget the back. So, there is my long video for you on different forms of squat.